the Joe Rogan experience. Man, it's interesting watching these guys come and go and, you know, and come in with so much promise and it doesn't doesn't quite, you know, go injuries. Yeah. yeah, there's injury. Well, Darren Till had a bunch of knee injuries. Yeah. Well, you know, the UFC is a, is a promotion machine. Mm -hmm. So they sell the world a dream for each and every one of us. You know what I mean? So a lot of people out there in the world have this have this idea of me that, you know, is com could be completely wrong. You yeah. know what I mean? So um, we all have these expectations. Everybody has these hopes and, and dreams and stuff like that. And us as fighters, especially with the mics in front of our faces, are allowed to share ours. So everybody definitely believes us when we say, what believes me when I say I'm going to be a, a champion one day. You know what I mean? I sure as hell believe myself when I say that. So, um, but a very few of us are going to make it to that to that level. You know what I mean? A very few percentage of us are going to make it. So that's the reality of it, you know? Um, and that's the reality I had already come to terms with when I first started this. So when I first started doing uh, MMA, I already had a full-time job, a good, comfortable job, you know what I mean? Um, I was able to take care of my family, so I was good. And I was able to go train, so I was happy. Um, I just told myself, I'm just going to go as far as I can go, you know what I mean? Um, pretty much make myself no promises, you know what I mean? Because mm -hmm. I understand that I understand my ability and I had confidence in myself, which is why I did it in the first place. But I understand the reality of it, and I should be. Bl and I was blessed to have already have a full time job to be able to take care of myself because there's a lot of fighters, a lot of fighters out there are broke trying yeah. to fight. Yeah, you know the majority a majority of fighters are in broke situations trying to fight. So, um, <clears throat> yeah, when I first when I was training, it wasn't my goal to be a UFC fighter. I just wanted to go as far as I can, learn as much as I can while I have this time here on earth. So this is as far as I've gotten. You well, know? you've gotten pretty fucking far. Yeah. You've got a great approach, man. you got a, a great approach to life, a great approach to this this path that you're on to, to be a better martial artist and a better person. Like that, that's a, it's, it's, it's an, a fascinating approach. It's very samurai-like, you know? Well, well thank it you. It is. I, I do take, I take, for me, I like to take energies from all places and try to create this, I don't want to say character, but create this avatar and equip this avatar with all these different perks and stuff that I find admirable, that I find moral and mm. things that's going to make me a bigger, stronger, better, what am I? A human, right. a man, right. a black man, if you want to use those labels and terms, you know what I mean? But uh, for me being who I am. and uh, That's a great way to think about it. Yeah. And not necessarily try to distinguish myself from any and everybody else. You know what I mean? Look to any and everybody else to see the potential that I have because we're all human. We all have the potential to do great and wonderful things or terrible and bad things. You know what I mean? I tell you, I said this is one thing I tell my children my children, you know, we have the ability as humans, this is what makes us unique from any other species on this planet, that we have the ability to be an animal. Or we can be something better than that. We have the ability to be a demon or a devil. Or we can be a celestial or a god or a goddess. You know what I mean? Not that we would physically embody our definitions of these things. These are just conceptualizations. But <clears throat> I think for me, that allows me to take the trajectory of my life and point it to where I want. I want to ascend. You know what I mean? To concept to use the word that has been so conceptualized to godhood. And I realize that I'm not the almighty, but I am living a uh, an aspect. I am generating a perspective. I am so many different ways to put it. Living an experience, you know what I mean? That God can look back and say, yep, I've done this. You know what I mean? Maybe this has already been done. Maybe it hasn't. But for me, I just want to go up, be better. I want to be able to levitate and shit like that. You know what I mean? Yeah. Do things that nobody else does, which is probably one of the reasons why I joined the Army and do martial arts in the first place, because everybody where I'm from, where I grew up, definitely wasn't joining the Army, and nobody was doing martial arts that I knew of. So um, I guess I was just born a... a uh, 
nonconformist, if you will. And I just like taking the route that I find best suits me. You feel me? Yeah, I do feel you. Yeah. No, mm-hmm. that's a fascinating path. I like what you just said. I like it. I like what you just said a lot. Yeah. And I think uh, if people could adopt that mindset and adopt that way of thinking, I think that would be very, very beneficial to a lot of people. Yeah. It's very admirable. Sometimes when you hear someone's philosophy, the way they think about things and the, the way they approach their life, you go, oh, that's admirable. Hmm. And that's what I just felt when well, you were saying you, that. I was like, that's, that's very admirable. I, I like when someone has a, a very clear, disciplined sort of view, view yeah. of, of what their life is and yeah. what they're trying to accomplish. And you have, especially with this mindset that you have about constant growth, about looking at it like that, like you're always on the path. Yeah. And, and to approach that as a martial artist and then, you know, be a martial artist while you're still an elite fighter in the UFC. Yeah. You're still a martial artist. And I think that's why you're so good.